Hey guys, it's Donna, and today I have a new fashion box for you guys, Front Door Fashion. So, this is probably the most premier style box that I have tried out so far, but the experience so far has been amazing. And I feel like it's been more personalized than any of the other boxes that I have done. Um, the stylist even reached out to me after I completed the style profile and personally emailed me and said, okay, I got your request. Let me know what are some things you want in it? What are some things you don't want in it? And of course that's all in my profile, but she wanted to hear it straight from me. So I thought that that was a really cool touch. Um, style, so front door fashion, I'll give you a quick rundown. We'll just, we'll start there. So they give you four to six put together looks. And this box, as you can see, is big and it's heavy. <laughs> so they play it has a handle on the top of it too. I also had to sign for the package from FedEx. So I had them deliver it to a local store. So I didn't have to worry about being home. So make sure you know that that's an option that you can do that. But when I picked it up, I couldn't believe how heavy it was. So I'm really excited to dive in. Um, now I will tell you, there's no shipping and there's no style fee, but they do require a deposit, and some of you may fall off of your chairs when I tell you what it is, but I think it's going to be worth it. The deposit is $100, but, big but, wait for it, don't click off of my video. <laughs> so, the $100, if you keep nothing in this box, you get refunded that $100. It's really just a security deposit for them because they send you a lot of clothing. So, that way you don't run away with their clothing, you get that $100 deposit back if you don't keep anything. And of course, if you keep something, the $100 gets deducted off of, or whatever amount. If you only spend $50, the $50 gets applied to whatever you purchase in the box. So you don't lose the $100. As long as you ship everything back, or as long as you keep something, you're not losing that money. Plus, by me leaving the link below in the description, you can get $50 off of your first box. So you'll still have to put the deposit down, but you can get $50 towards free, $50 free towards something in the box. So that's what I did. I clicked off of one of my fellow YouTubers links and I used that. So I should be getting $50 that's not out of my pocket off of something in the box. So I'm excited about that. I was also kind of peeking at the invoice online. It doesn't show pictures or anything like that, at least not on my phone, so I didn't get to peek or anything like that. I tried. Um, but the invoice was unique. It actually tells you how to style the outfits. So it tells you what goes together. So I'm gonna try my hardest to do that as well. So they give you some discounts. They call it a perks program. So of course me referring anyone, I get perks for that. You also get $20 off of your next box if you keep five of the items um, on your next purchase. And then also if you keep the entire box, you get 10% off. So they do have some discounts in there as well. So let's go ahead and dive in and kind of see what this box looks like. It's super heavy. I'm trying to figure out how to show you guys. <laughs> oh, without hurting myself, really. Okay, so let's see here. We're going to open it this way, I think. Oh, I'm already feeling fancy. <laughs> okay, so it's all zipped up into a garment bag. Let's see what's on top here that fell over. So this is giving me, it says a shoe guide. So I'm not quite sure what that is yet. I also see a return label. So I'm imagining it goes back in this box, but we're gonna find out here in a second. It's all new to me. So we will see what this is all about. All right, hello gorgeous. It's like a whole pamphlet here, guys. These outfits have been hand selected just for you. We hope you keep them all. Keep five items and receive $20 in perk credits towards your next purchase. Bring on the perks and then you earn points basically for what you spend that you can use in money later on in other boxes. All right, so let's take a spin, try everything on. You have five days um, to try everything on. Um, and then you leave feedback. You also get points for leaving feedback and returning everything um, in a timely manner as well. They also give you tapes. So that's kind of similar to Trunk Club. So I think that's really nice. Um, and here is my stylist note. So let's take a look at what our stylist said here. <laughs> All right, Front Door Fashion Client. Thank you for ordering a box and welcome to Front Door Fashion Experience. I'm thrilled one of our stylists had the opportunity to work with you and I hope the clothes in this box, hope you feel beautiful and confident as you should all feel. Okay, this is just from the co-owner. So we're actually, or the CEO and the co-founder. So we're not gonna read this whole thing. So I thought this was from my stylist. It's not. All right, let's see if there's anything in here from my stylist. Oh, look, it's a personalized note there. How cool is that? Donna, thank you so much for allowing me to style you. I hope you love your box and find a couple pieces that suit you well. Enjoy, Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. I think that's a really nice touch. You can also do exchanges. It says here, you just leave feedback. And then here is the invoice. So it looks kind of complicated to me, um, but I didn't see that you check out online. I believe you check out here on your invoice. 
Um, it gives you the different outfit ideas, which I'm not going to bore you guys. I don't want to read the whole thing to you. Um, but the whole thing is basically a styling note from my stylist. And then you go through and you select the items that you're keeping. And it has the prices along the side, which I think we're going to save to last still like I normally do. Um, but I'm seeing some brands and I see a mixture of price points. I see something as low as $15. And I also see something as much as $189. Um, so I think this is gonna be a mixed box, definitely. So I think I'm just gonna dive into trying some of these things on. Um, actually, let's open it up. Let's open it up and see what's in here. I don't wanna deprive you guys of that. I'm just trying to figure out how to do that without a teeth in you. So let's see. Oh, it is a full garment bag, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, I feel like I need to get like a garment rack to show this to you guys. Let me get rid of the box. Okay, let's see here. I am feeling so fancy. So fancy. All right, I see some jewelry hooked on here too. So definitely do not want to lose any of that. Okay, the outfit's already put together. Like, isn't that fancy? Okay, let's see here. All right, so I pulled off the first, looks like jewelry bag here. So let's look at that first. Okay, so it's a cute little pair of earrings. I'm wondering if the lower price points were the um, accessories. <laughs> so it's looking like, uh, I'm not sure about this first outfit. I don't know. This, this, I, mm, yeah, so I did tell them that I needed some work outfits. I, I don't know. I feel like this is a little bit too old for me, this look. Um, I mean, it's a cute little white blazer. Maybe I need a blazer in my life. My stylist did ask me that, and I told her I didn't have any really. Um, and I don't really wear blazers too much. But this top's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Um, I feel like it's kind of dated, and I know some of that's kind of coming back. It is a full long sleeve. It's a sheer top. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure. It does have, what's underneath here? Uh, it does have a blue liner underneath of it. So I always keep my mind open. I'm gonna try everything on for everybody. Um, but I'm just, my initial thought is I'm not sure. All right, moving on. Let's see what this next one is. Okay, that's cute. So it's like a chambray top in like a denim. It has the roll tab sleeves. And then it looks like there are some pants underneath that are in like a velvet material. Um, so I am curious about that. I think that's more my style and I think that that's gonna be really, really cute. All right, next outfit. Okay, so she definitely went with the blazers here um, to see, I guess. But we've got a Vince Camuto like purple tie front shirt here and it looks like ooh, I like those they're like a gray hatch pattern pant nothing like that in my wardrobe so I think that that will be really cute as well okay next jewelry bag let's see what this one is <laughs> all right oh those are cute I like those little like little bubbles they have balls on them there I hope you guys can see that but they're little hoops ooh, I like those they're cute okay and then here is a nice sweater. I like that by French Collection. It's a really cute, cute color. I like that. And I like the fabric. It's very soft. Um, I did ask for non-itchy fabrics. I'm glad you listened to that. All right, we've got looks like a white sweater outfit here. All right, and she paired this looks like with a collared shirt underneath. And oh my goodness, I think there are <laughs> No, that's a style I haven't gotten into um is leather pants okay all right she is sprucing me up that is for sure <laughs> i don't know about the top look i think it's a little chunky um but we're gonna put it on we're gonna try it out it's got some gold um fabric kind of weaved in, or thread woven in there so i do like that this is a more casual outfit which i am liking so far all right oh that's cute so it's got Okay, that's one piece. So it's actually a blazer with like a sweatshirt zipper inside of it and it is remove, removable. So it gives you that casual look, but you can also dress it up. Kind of like that, that's different. And then it looks like it has a blue t-shirt underneath of it. Hmm, that's cute. Okay, let's look at the jewelry that's attached. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, this is a necklace, hang on. Okay, that's cute. So it's like a bar necklace. I like that. That's pretty. All right. 
Then, what is last here? Okay, it's a cute little plaid shirt by Beach Lunch Lounge, which I just found out about that brand recently in one of my other boxes. Um, and then it has a nice pair of blue khaki pants underneath of it that match the blue perfectly, actually, in the shirt. So, let's get some of this tried on. I'm really curious to see what this all looks like. This will probably be a long video, though, because there's quite a few outfits in here, which I'm excited about, though. So, hang tight. Let me try on the first thing. All right, so I started from the back to the front because that's how they're all laid on my bed here. So, I went ahead and started with this outfit. Um, I think it's cute. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of lumberjack vibes, but I guess that's plaid, right? That's plaid for you. Um, but I like the color combination. I do like the burgundies and the blues, and it's very soft. It's not like one of those thick plaid shirts. Um, the sleeve length is really nice as well. It does have a button on it, so if I wanted to roll it up, I could. I think this would be really cute with maybe a white shirt underneath it exposed as well, or even a black shirt to pop that extra stripe in there. Um, I think the fit is really nice. I like the longer length in the back that you could wear them with leggings if you wanted to. So let's talk about the pants now. Um, I do like them because they have elastic waist, so that's always a plus, but I don't know if they fit me properly. Um, they hang a little bit low here in the crotch and there's no pockets at all. Um, and I think that would bother me throughout the day. Um, they're a little bit higher on my ankle than I would like them to be. I don't know, I'm not in love with the pants. Um, the material is really nice. Um, it has a nice flow to it and they're very stretchy, which I think is great. Um, so they're not constrictive, but I don't know. I mean, the shirt maybe with jeans or with the leggings might look a little bit better. All right, let's go ahead and keep moving. All right, new styles, right? New year. <laughs> Oh, as cute as this is, I don't know if it's my personality. I, I don't know if this is really my look. Um, I went ahead and just put them with a pair of jeans because when I put the black leggings on with it, it completely drowned it out. So I do think jeans would be the option for this outfit. Um, maybe a darker wash jean, I'm not sure. Um, but I went ahead and closed everything up because I wanted you to see what it would look like if it was completely put together. Um, but it does have this one single button right here in the front. And then as you open it, as you can see, here's where it ends with the sweatshirt. So it's detachable completely, but it does zip up nicely. I kind of wish it was two separate pieces because the black hoodie is really cute. <laughs> just might as this plaid thing going on on top. Um, but it's very comfortable. I mean, it fits very nicely. The sleeve length is really nice. Um, it's a nice accented with buttons here. So I'm not opposed to this. I just don't think it's for me. Maybe I should just leave it loose and open. Maybe that looks cuter like that so it doesn't look as put together. It's supposed to be a casual look. I don't know. Um, the length of it's really nice. Kind of hits mid bottom there. Has the little flaps that you would expect, but just not my style. I want to show you the inside shirt though because I think that is really cute. So let's pull this off. This is my style. So what I think is unique though are the sleeves. So it has like this baby balloon sleeve, which I think is cute with this really long cuff here at the bottom. And the color is gorgeous. Like I love this color. It's like a blue purpley color, like a periwinkle. Um, it does have some nice cute little slits here on the side, which I think is nice styling and tailoring for the shirt. It's a shorter waist, you know, so it does come up like a mid, but I like that. I kind of like where it's hitting. So the shirt, I love. I like the neckline as well because you can kind of peek at the collarbones, but it's not too wide and it's not too low. Um, so very comfortable. Love the top. All right, let's keep moving. <laughs> I don't even know where to start on this outfit. <laughs> I just want to laugh. <laughs> the top, I feel like a marshmallow up top. Like, I could see the picture of the model probably wearing this and it looks amazing on the model. I'm not that model. I'm a mom, you know, and I have a mom body. So this is just making me look like a big puffy marshmallow. <laughs> so, and how can you ignore the pants? Like the pants are amazing, right? I mean, like these are like hammer style pants. I am like vibing on the pants. Hammer time, hammer time. <laughs> just kidding. I think my stylist had all good intentions, but this is not it for me. Um, the pants fit actually, surprisingly. Um, but I do also feel like the Friends episode where Ross has the leather pants. If you haven't seen that episode, you have to go look it up on YouTube. <laughs> but they're hot. I mean, these are hot pants. I, I'm feeling like these are real leather pants, um, not faux leather, which is what I'm used to in my world. Um, but yeah, the pants, I just don't know where I would even wear these pants um, in my life. So <laughs> we're going to pass on the pants. The top. So the sweater's really cute. Again, it's just too big for me. And the top underneath is too small for me. It's just a basic white button shirt, um, which does pair nicely, I guess, with this. But I feel like the shirt should be longer than the sweater if you're going to layer them. 
And I also feel like they should stick out of the sleeves. And these are too short on me. They do not stick out of the sleeves. So I think the style is lost somewhere there um, with the sweater over top of it. Um, so these are both going to be passes. I don't want to waste your time. So I think we're going to keep moving on to the next outfit. Hang on. All right. This is more me. <laughs> of course, it's just the top that came. Um, it's not as soft as I had expected though, but I do like the styling of it. Um, I would consider maybe sizing up. It is very form fitting and I'm not used to form fitting items, um, but I'm not opposed to it either. Um, it has some nice styling. It has some nice ribbed cuffs and also along the bottom it's ribbed. Um, I like the plum color. I think that that's really cute. Um, the length is good too. I think that that hits me in the right spot and the neckline of course is nice as well. Um, so I don't know, might boil down to the price and whether I feel like I need it in my closet <laughs> or not. Um, I do need some lighter weight sweaters so maybe I will get this. I'm not sure. Um, and then I put the necklace with it because I wanted to show you the length of the necklace because I think it's really cute. It's just a cute little accent piece I think to a shirt just like this um, where it can cover over top of the collar line um, and I think it just kind of spruces it up just enough. All right, let's keep moving. All right, so you guys don't see me dressed like this very often, but this would be nice outfit for a nice business day um, at work. Um, I'm just not sure about the fit. Um, I don't mind the look of most of this, um, but let's take it piece by piece and then I'll kind of break down my thoughts. So the blazer, I have a basic black blazer um, in my closet. I don't wear it ever. Um, I think I've worn it maybe twice while working, <laughs> um, but this one is too small for me. It, it does not button. I do feel like you have to have it so I can button. Um, so once in a while, if you need to button it, you can. So I'm gonna have to, like, I'm gonna have to pass on the blazer. I mean, it's a very nice cut. It's a good length as well. I like that, um, but it's just not fitting. All right, let's move on to the top. I think it looks really nice with this outfit though. I like it with the contrast of the, the lighter colored pants. Um, I think that looks really nice. All right, the top. So I don't do bow ribbon things in this general area. And I think this just looks awkward on this shirt, um, but it's just a personal choice. I mean, I could choose, if it didn't have that, I would love this. Like that just needs to go. I don't think it's necessary. Um, but the rest of it's really cute. I mean, I like the flow of the material. I don't have anything in this satiny type material. Maybe I need some of that in my wardrobe. It's very comfortable. Um, and the balloon sleeves are really cute. Um, they're actually more of a three quarter length sleeve, but they don't stay up, which I think is odd because it has the elastic. So it's almost like they're supposed to stay up, but they don't. So then you end up with like this weird thing going on here um, that's not straight across. I think that's a little odd, um, but I don't know how else to wear it. So maybe that's the style of it. It is short-waisted, so it doesn't cover anything in the back. Um, so I don't know, but I do like the fabric. So the material I'm gonna be looking for when I'm looking for shirts, I think this would be a nice addition to my wardrobe. Let's talk about the pants. I like the color of the pants. Um, and they're also elastic waist, so I must have put that in my notes somewhere that I like elastic waist pants. Um, so they're very comfortable up top, but they're too snug across my bum. Um, so that's not gonna work for me. And they just kind of fit, fit oddly in the thigh area. Um, so I don't think that the pants are gonna work either. But again, I think I'm gonna be on the lookout for these light gray colored pants um, in my wardrobe because I feel like they're really cute and they would match a lot of the things that I have. So not a complete loss, gives me some ideas for future outfits, but the fit of this whole outfit does not work for me. All right, let's keep moving. We've got two more. Okay, so I'm not completely like upset with this outfit. I think that this is really cute. <laughs> So the top, I think this is really cute. Um, so it is like that chambray, but it's like a reflective denim color. And I think that kind of spruces it up a little bit that I could even maybe even wear it to work. Um, it does have the roll tab sleeves, which I would probably leave at that three quarter length sleeve length um, because it's very comfortable. It's right below the elbow, so it doesn't constrict any of the elbow movement. I like the fit of this as well. I like the tailoring um, along my hips. I love that it has the split tail in the back. It kind of adds some extra cuteness, I think, in the back as you walk away. I think that that's really cute. So this top is a contender. I think it's pretty nice. And I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> All right, the pants. I'm really bummed about the pants because I really wanted to like these. These are the soft, like, suede pants. And when I pulled them out, I'm like, oh, I really hope I love these because this will be a cute outfit for work, I think, with the pants. But they're too tight on my thighs and my bum. And that's disappointing. They are elastic waist, so I love that. I feel like if I sized up on them, they might be too big in the waist. I guess I could try um, if the price is decent um, to see. Hopefully you could exchange it or return it after that if they didn't fit, if they were too big. 
but they're cute and they're loose at the ankle, but I'm not upset about that. I think it's really cute. They hit it a nice spot. Um, so I think this is really cute. I just wish the pants fit a little bit better. Okay, I think I have one more outfit for you guys, so hang tight. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right. So she had paired this with the velvet pants, um, but the velvet pants were just too snug on me. So I went ahead and took those off and put my jeans on. So this is probably maybe not the best pairing, but I don't think it's terrible either with jeans. Um, if you want that dressy casual look, I think this would be cute. I'm just really thrown off by the shirt. Uh, I don't think it's my style at all. And I feel like it's too much of a flashback. And I know we're doing a lot of the older styles now are coming back but this one's not for me. Um, the white blazer is surprisingly really cute though. I think it's a cute pop of color, um, but paired with the shirt, not so crazy about it. I think this is cute little styling here in the front, how it kind of has this cute little cutout. I think that's neat and unique. Um, there is no button, so I wouldn't have to worry about pulling it across because that would be too tight. I have wider hips, um, so that wouldn't work for me. But I think as far as lengthwise, it'd be cute um, with maybe a purple shirt underneath of it. Maybe I should pair this with that long sleeve shirt. Maybe we'll do that in a second and see what that would look like. Um, but with this shirt, I'm not feeling it. So let's talk about the shirt. I'll take this off real quick. It gets even better, right? <laughs> so yeah so a couple of things we'll talk about the sleeves here um it's got like this dangle sleeve thing going on it's got a couple layers of ruffles um it is completely sheer so they sent along a tank but the tank is way too tight it's like spanx tight um and i'm not comfortable in it at all um but it'd probably be cute with just the blazer <laughs> i don't know um also the neck um i don't do well with turtlenecks or things touching my neck so it does have a tie here so let's take that off real quick and it kind of has a neck Thing going on here and if we were to unbutton a couple of buttons it would be more comfortable on me i like my neck to be exposed like that um but still i couldn't stand the sleeves all day they're just like driving me insane so yeah the shirt's definitely a pass and so is the tank underneath i'm not even going to take that off it's just a basic blue tank so um i want to try on that first top though with that blazer so hang on all right much better so i like just the solid color i think underneath of the white blazer what do you guys think even with the jeans, it kind of spruces up the jeans. If you're going to something like a parent function at night or something, you can throw the little white blazer on and call it a night. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? I want to hear all of your comments below because I know you've got some out there. And then in a minute, we're going to get together and look at those prices. So hang on. All right. So I have to say, I am impressed with the styling service of this box. I love how the stylist put the pieces together because I struggle with that sometimes on what goes with what. And this was pretty like foolproof. I mean, she put them on the hanger together. Plus they list out in here exactly what you should be putting together. So I love that. And I love the personalization. Style wise, it is my first box. So I feel like she hit some things on the head. And I think other things she maybe missed on and it's a little bit too fashion forward for a mom, <laughs> for me at least. Um, so let's go through it though. I think the prices are gonna be interesting. Um, like I said, some are on the high, high, high side, some maybe more affordable. I think I'm gonna do the jewelry first because I don't wanna forget about them. Um, I didn't try the earrings on yet because I don't really wanna clean them. And before I put earrings in, I always clean them. And if I'm not gonna keep them, I don't wanna be <laughs> putting alcohol on their earrings. So. Sorry, I didn't try the earrings on. But let's talk about the necklace. So that was really cute. And I think it'd be really cute with this shirt as well. This is the um, Gorgiana Tanner Bar Small Necklace in silver. And this one is $60. So it's a very nice quality though. Um, it's a very heavy duty. It's a very petite, nicely made chain. So I do think the value is there for the necklace. All right, let's talk about the earrings. So these were the cute earrings here that I do think would be really cute. These are by FDF Accessories. These are the Cowgirl Sterling Lasso Hoops. That's a cute name in silver. And these are $35. That's a great price for a cute little pair of earrings. And then the last pair of earrings here, these are the Anuja Toilia, to Toilia, Tolia, probably overcomplicating that, double bubble hoop. And these are $15. Ew. These are cute. That's a great price too. So I hmm, might get those. All right. I'm trying to figure out how to do these outfits um, because they're all, I put them back on the coat hangers together. So I knew how to ship them back too. Um, all right. So let's talk about this outfit. So this has the tank underneath of it, this fun top and the white blazer. Let's see if we can figure this out here. So the blazer is by Wish. Um, it's called the Pursuit Jacket in White and it's $159. I don't know how much I'm going to wear it for $159, but I'm going to be on the lookout for it. <laughs> so I think that's what's really cool about these boxes is I kind of have my mind now. Did I really like that blazer? Check. Now I can find something maybe a little bit more affordable. 
All right, the blouse itself is by Scotch and Soda. Um, it's printed sheer ruffle blouse in combo G, and this is $128. So you already know I'm passing on that. And then the tank underneath is Tease by Tank. It's a smooth tank, and ink is the color, and it's $38. It was too small for me, so to me, it wasn't worth keeping. All right, so this blazer hoodie combo is by Liverpool, and this is the Boyfriend Removable Hood Blazer in black, white plaid, um, and this one's $129. If this is your style, it's a high quality, and I think that's definitely worth it, just not my style. I, like I mentioned, if this was gone and it was just a black hoodie, I think it would have been adorable. So they had paired it with this top here. This is by Veronica M. This is the puff sleeve sweatshirt. Not a sweatshirt though, it's a very thin material. And this is in dark denim and this is $57. Hmm, I might think about this top for that price. I mean, I think I definitely will wear it a lot. I think it's a cute color on me. Um, so this one's a maybe. All right, let's keep moving. Plaid shirt and then let's not forget the cute colored pants underneath. Just wish the pants had fit a little bit better in this box, but they didn't, unfortunately. This is by Beach Lunch Lounge. This is the Charlie plaid shirt in schoolhouse is the color they call it and this one is $58 it's a very nice plaid I don't know if it's my style though I think I just need to pass on the plaid I, I've tried so many different plaid shirts I'm just not sure why I can't find the one that I like so oh well so the pants are by Nick and Zoe they are crop polished wonder stretch pants in soft navy and they are $148 didn't fit nice quality still don't know if I'd pay that much money for pants though so all right, this awesome outfit here, right? <laughs> okay, so the sweater itself is by French, F-R-N-C-H. It's the Neva sweater in Ecru, and this is $82. That's a really great price for a thick sweater. Um, just wasn't my style. And then the um, button front shirt underneath is Beach Lunch Lounge. It's Avery Solid uh, Eco Vero shirt in white, and it's $58. Again, if it had fit right, maybe. And then let's not forget about the hammer pants, the leather pants underneath. Um, these are by BB Dakota Run the World Pant in Black, and they are $79. Oh, I'm kind of sad that I uh, this didn't fit me right. <laughs> I might have got those. Not really. All right, so this top, I did like this one. This is the French Connection Baby Soft Raglan Sweater in Evening Wine. Ooh, I really like that name. Um, this one is $88. It is a nice sweater. I'm kind of curious on the wash of it though. It's probably dry clean. Um, if it's the case, I would have to size up because I know that I would probably wash it here at home and I would shrink it. So I don't know, we'll have to see. Maybe I need to size up. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and whether or not I should keep that or not. $88, still a little bit steep for me, but doable. Two more outfits. Let's see what this one is here. All right, so the blazer is by Itchy, and this is Lexi Blazer in black, and it's $189. <laughs> I know I can find a blazer way less expensive than that for $189. That's crazy. And then the purple tie shirt underneath is by Vince Camuto, so that's probably a decent price. This is a V-neck tie rumple blouse in wine, and that one's $79. Which, I mean, that was a really cute shirt, just not that tie. I have to pass on the tie. And then the pants on this one, the gray ones you see there are I Love Tyler Madison and Hattie Pull On Slack in Fog is the color, $135. Yeah, no, not, not for the pants. And the last outfit is this cute little chambray shirt. Let's see what this one is called. Um, this one's by Velvet Heart. It's the Riley shirt in Dark Indigo, and it's $84. That's uh, a little bit high for me, um, but we'll see. And then the pants are I Love Tyler Madison in Gwyneth Ultra Suede Pant in black and $113. <laughs> so, so the pants were the most expensive thing and the blazers, to be honest, but the top's not so bad. So what did you guys think? What would you keep in this box? What do you think I should keep in this box? Or what are some ideas? Did you guys enjoy this box? I know it's definitely outside of a lot of your comfort zones, but I honestly... I would recommend trying it. What do you have to lose? You're honestly not gonna be out any money. I know that $100 deposit sounds very scary, but you get it all back. So if I return all of this, I'm out no money. Plus I have the link below that'll give you $50 off of your first purchase. So you can even get some jewelry for free. It's kind of like Trunk Club where it doesn't hurt to try it. Um, so I'll leave that link below. I'll also try to link um, or at least leave a description of everything that's in this box in case you want to request that from your stylist specifically. All right, that's all I've got for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed this new style box. If you like what you saw, make sure you hit that like button and always remember to subscribe and click the bell so you see all the videos when they come out. All right, until next time guys, happy styling.